Hey everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today we are going to be doing a new look haul which I'm super excited about. I think it was on my Primark haul. Someone commented and said that and Marie has some new stuff out, a new collection with new look and asked if I could try a couple of bits. So naturally I went on and had a look and uh, honestly not a lot of it was my style. I did pick up some stuff, a lot of it things that I do, they, they're not necessarily me um, but I love trying things that aren't necessarily me because you never know you might find some gems but part of me is thinking hmm. I'm not 100% sure but we're going to try them on together and see what we think. Now I have got a really sore throat. <laughs> I'm praying, I'm keeping my fingers crossed it doesn't turn into tonsillitis but knowing my immune system and my luck it will because I'm so prone to tonsillitis, I get it like twice a year. I am literally sweating, I'm so hot, the heating is not on, it's middle of the night, Peggy's licking my leg um, and yeah I am like literally so hot and I just feel so gross but let's get this video filmed <laughs> Let's get the video filmed before hopefully it does turn into anything worse and hopefully it won't. I just I just know my tonsils and I always get tonsillitis. So if I'm talking a bit funny today, because I do feel like I'm struggling to talk um, because my tonsils are literally touching each other, that'll be why. Super sexy, I know. Now if you are new here, I do have two little pugs, Peggy and Lola. Uh, Peggy's licking my leg. Lola's asleep under the camera. It's inevitable. You'll hear them snoring, grunting and making all sorts of noises. So I made the order online. I think I spent like over £200. Um, honestly, with a view that a lot of this stuff's going to go back. I've really just ordered a lot of it. Just so you guys can see what the stuff looks like. Um, there's one or two bits that I think I'll like. But a lot of it, like I said before, I don't know if it's my style. But it's always fun to try new things anyway. Um, so yeah. I did notice that her collection, naturally, is quite a little bit more expensive than New Look's normal stuff. And I do remember thinking, like, I don't care whose name on, is on it. I'm not paid. Like, there was this little jumpsuit. And it was £45 for, like, a little, like, play suit, a little short one. That you would just, like, wear on holiday or whatever. I thought, I'm not paying £45 for New Look. Like, that's River Island prices. So that's one thing that I did notice as well. But I did manage to find a 20% discount code on where I literally clicked on Honey you know the little tab that like saves you money and um, finds your discount code so always worth looking out on that guys so when I went into store to pick it up I did find um, two items that I like the look of and um, so I'll show you those as well okay so the first item I'm trying on is this little bodycon um, I'd say that like 60s inspired little dress it's got all these cute little pastel colors on it and a floral design see-through isn't it <laughs> I think it's going to look more see-through because of the lights as well. I have got white pants on underneath. Um, but yeah, it's a cute little dress. I don't hate it. But again, it's something that just isn't necessarily my style. Like this sort of shaped dress casually. It would look really cute with a little pair of trainers. I think on a lot of people this would look adorable. But I just feel like it's really highlighting like some of like my areas that I'm not that keen on. And I just feel like it's something that I wouldn't necessarily feel the most confident in going out and about. And I also feel like when I walk, you'd be able to see everything moving. Here's what it looks like from the back. It's like quite a thin material. I'm going to come up close and show you. So it's got these little buttons that you can do all the way up if you want. And it's got this adorable little collar. There's also things that I do love about this. And it is really something that I wouldn't normally pick or wear. It's got all these lovely cute flowers on and like I say I love all the pastel colours and these little cute sleeves which aren't too tight at all. Honestly the dress doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything, it's really lightweight um, but just isn't something that I would reach for. I don't feel like it's doing the most for my body. Um, I do think this would look really nice on lots of people though and I would say if it's something that you've been looking at and like you think that you like this sort of style dress and you feel confident in it then definitely go for it it's just a style that i don't feel my best in if that makes sense but it is really really adorable okay so i hope you can see what i mean by <laughs> these things aren't really my style but i thought well it'd just be fun to try them anyway so this is a little two piece that you buy separately you've got a little off one shoulder crop top which i've just kept my bra on i was going to take it off but honestly you haven't got the most room here, so I didn't want to tip falling out. <sighs> I'm exhausted. 
This is a size 16 that I put the top up on and then you've got these little matching little flares which I'll pan you down to see properly in a minute and I went for those in an 18 and like I said you can buy them separately but I thought it'd be cute to get the little two piece and see what we think, see what it looks like on and it isn't my style. Honestly, I think I'm just too old to wear something like this. Uh, but I do think if I was like a little bit younger and going to a festival, I would be all over this because I do think it's cute. It's just not me and that's all that it is. There's not anything wrong with it. So coming up close, here's the little top. So it's a little one shoulder, like a bit of a scoop neck. Um, it's a tiny, tiny little crop top. Like it's really stretchy. And I think if I didn't have a bra on, it wouldn't give you any support. Um, hence why I just think your boobs could fly out anywhere. So I've just left the bra up. Here's what it looks like at the back. Just literally mirrors the front. And it has, it's like black and white squares. And then it has like love written all over it. And then down to the bottom, so I'll pan you down a little bit. So I wish these were in plain black. Because these are the first pair of like stretchy flares that I found that actually fit me properly and are comfortable. So as I said, I picked these up in a size 18 and look how long they are. I'm five for eight guys, if you don't know. Um, but yeah, I've got my sexy slippers on. But these are so long and so comfortable. There's so much room in them that I do think I could have gone for a 16, but I'm actually really comfortable in the 18 and I wouldn't have changed that. I don't think they look too bad. Here's what they look like from the back. Mama back boobs. But I think they look all right. I just wouldn't wear this pattern so I do really wish that they just did these in plain black because these are the first pair of like these stretchy flares that I've managed to find that fit me really well everywhere they're high waisted but they go all the way down to the floor and they feel so bloody comfortable so I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out to see if she does bring them out in any other styles or whatever because this pattern just isn't for me but I do reckon all the little young girls are going to be all over this looking absolutely amazing at all the festivals and stuff because it would so suit that sort of vibe like a festival vibe it's just not my style and that's that but Anne Marie looks the bollocks in it obviously okay next up I got this little shirt dress and I actually picked this up in two sizes this is a 16 I've got an 18 as well um, and I don't know, I love this colour is why I picked it up. This isn't from the Amory uh, collection, this is just new look. Um, and I love a shirt dress, as you guys know. And this is really nice, like heavy, silky material. And I don't know if the camera is going to be picking up how gorgeous this green is. Because it really is that vibrant forest green that's really fashionable at the minute. I love everything about this, apart from the last button. It's so high up. I just wish it had like one more button at least um, because I just don't know if that's a little bit risky for me. Um, the length at the back is absolutely fine but I would not be able to belt this I don't think because it would just make it way too short um, but maybe the 18 would be better for the length but apart from that it fits fine there's plenty of room and I almost feel that, that maybe the 18 will be too big all around everywhere else because there is a lot of room. I think this will look lovely with a pair of heels or over the knee boots as well and the colour really is stunning. It's got these lovely like little, oh the buttons come on down on the bus, brilliant. It's got these little gold, tiny, tiny little buttons, nice little bit of collar detail. And then these lovely sort of drop shoulder hem with the puffy out sleeves. But then you've got two little buttons at the cuff that cinch them in which I think is really lovely. I really, really love this. Just not sure about the length. I'm gonna need your help with this guys let's quickly shove the 18 on I won't spend loads of time about it but you can just let me know what you think size wise okay the 18 is, is way too big but a little bit better on the whole button front it's such a shame I think both are gonna have to go back because yeah the 18 is way too big I like an oversized look um, but I think that's just a little bit too much um, I'm gonna have a play around, um, maybe even talk to my mum about potentially sewing on another button, see maybe what I can do, but I do think the 16 fits a lot better than the 18. Okay, so this little crop top is from the Anne Marie um, section, her collab, and I like a little white crop as much as the next girl. But there's a little white crop, and then there's a little white crop. I mean, tits galore. Everything's gonna come out of there. It's too short for me. It's just nothing special, I don't think. 
could get something from Primark or anywhere with a little bit more length thing that I'd personally feel more comfortable in. So I'm not that bothered about that, but I thought it'd be cute to try anyway. And then I picked up these little purple Tory mum jeans. These are just new look jeans. I went for these in a 16 regular and they fit really, really well. I just don't know how often I would wear lilac jeans. I'll pan you down so you can see and you guys will have to help me let me know what you think. But yeah, so they fit really well and they're like a slim fit Tory mum jean. I think they're really cute. I definitely don't have any jeans like it. I'm just not sure how I feel. Just don't know how I feel about the colour necessarily, but it is something that I don't have. I only have blue jeans or black jeans. I don't have anything like these, so maybe that's positive. And I don't think this little crop top's helping me much because absolutely everything's hanging out. All the area that I'm not that keen on. Here's what they look like from the back as well as my back boobs. But yeah, here's what the jeans as a whole look like from the back. And they fit really nice in the leg, like no problems there. Hope you can see. I don't know, I just don't know how I feel about the colour. You guys are going to have to let me know. But size wise, they fit perfectly, no problems here. Really, really nice pair of jeans. I do love new look jeans. Okay, next up is this pair of, these are from Anne-Marie, these jeans. This top's mine, so ignore that. But yeah, these are from the Anne-Marie collection. And they're these wide leg, super ripped jeans. They're a size 16 and honestly, they just remind me of like the grunge phase that a lot of people went through when I was younger. I personally didn't, but my little sister did and she had a pair of jeans like this and they'd get all wet in the puddles and stuff and I just, no, it's just not a bit of me. They are, I love the rips, um, super cute, but I'm just not sure of the shape on these on me. I think they sit at an awkward point on my leg for how flared they are. Uh, well, not flared, but wide leg, you know what I mean. Here's what they look like from the back. No rips or any distressing at the back. Um, but yeah, I just don't, just don't think these jeans are a bit of me. But again, would love to hear your thoughts. Again, completely out of like what I normally go for with jeans. Um, but yeah, I just think it's probably a no for these ones. Next up, I just had to go for these two little pieces. So you buy them separately, but it's this little cohort. And first of all, I'm obsessed with the colour. I think it's absolutely adorable. So I got these both in a 16. So you have this lovely jacket and then this little tennis skirt. So I'll come up close so you can see. So it's this really beautiful baby blue, like micro dog tooth almost vibe. And then it's got these stunning little buttons on which are just adorable it's a longer jacket i'm really glad that i went for a 16 and not an 18 because i feel like for this sort of fit i wouldn't have wanted it oversized it actually fits me perfectly i could get it done up if i wanted to and it's quite a long little jacket and then moving down to the skirt so guys you have to let me know what you think about the skirt because i really love the jacket and i'll probably keep the jacket but what do we think about it as a two-piece so Here's a little skirt on its own, and again, you can wear these separately. I would, I think I'd really love to go out and wear them as a two-piece with a little pair of white heels, a little, like, white body or something. Like, I think that would look just adorable and really cute, and I don't own anything like that. Um, it's just these beautiful little pleats. Really reminds me of sort of like a school skirt style. My only worry is that it is quite short. I don't know if maybe a little bit too short, but I do think I really like this. Maybe I'll feel differently when I watch it back, but I definitely don't own anything like it. And I actually think I really love them both together. Because this is a longer jacket, you can see that when I do have them on as a pair, it does sort of hide the skirt. So that's one thing that I'm not sure how I feel about. But I would absolutely love to hear your feedback on these guys. I do think it's really adorable. You have a little button in here if you want to do the jacket up. I would tend to wear them open. But it is an option if you did want to wear it done up. Um, but yeah, I think the colour of this jacket is beautiful. And I love blazers. I really, really enjoy a good blazer. And I think it's quite cute to have the matching little skirt. But I would really love to hear your thoughts. Uh, what you guys think help me <laughs> but so far it's my favorite thing out of the haul and i do think i'm going to keep the jacket because i do think it's beautiful i really love this jacket okay and then i picked up these two items in store so we'll start with the top first 
and work our way down. I had such high hopes for both of these items because I saw them in store. Um, and I just love the colour and the pattern of this little top. But the design is a no. I hope they bring it out in like other styles. So I'll show you it up to uh, so I'll show you it up close. So it's this beautiful green with these like snow tigers on. Absolutely beautiful. And again, I don't think the camera's picking up how beautiful the green is. But I just don't like the style of top because you've got one popper and that's it. One little tiny, tiny popper. Can you see? So that does there. And then all you've got after that is a tie. And I just don't feel like it's very flattering. Like, I would have rather it have been maybe a couple of buttons because this, for me, is not where I want my button to be. If I was going to wear this like on a night, I'd rather it have been a blouse or like a little shirt and then if it had the tie detail, fine. But I feel like I'd rather it not have the tie detail, be a little shirt and then you, I can do what I want with it, if that makes sense. Be a bit more versatile. But for this, I wouldn't feel confident in it. I wouldn't feel safe. I'd feel like I'd be flashing everyone all the time. And yeah, it's just a bit of a shame because the material for me is beautiful. Here's what it looks like from the back. It really is adorable, just I don't like the style of it. Then I went for these jeans, so I'll pan you down. And I got them in a size 16. Now the only problem with going in store is really ideally I need a long. And they only ever have short or regular. So I picked these up in regular, but they are just too short. And I'm gutted because they fit me really nicely. And I love the little rips on them. I think they're a really nice pair of skinny mum jeans. I think they're such nice jeans. But they're just too short for me in the leg. So I'm going to have a look online, see if I can find these in tall. And then I think I'm going to get them delivered to store. Because I really love the wash of them. I think they'll be lovely for summer. I love the light wash. Like I said, I really like where the rips are. Um, I just think it's that perfect amount of dist like distressness on them. They're just way too short. So, yeah, I'm going to have a look, see if they have them in a long leg online. But, yeah, if they fit me lengthwise, I'd be all over these. Such a shame. Okay, everybody, that is absolutely everything. What are your thoughts? Um, I was expecting it to go the way that it has done, honestly. But, like I said at the beginning, a lot of the stuff wasn't necessarily my style. But I wanted to give them a go anyway. But, surprisingly, I really love that little blue two-piece. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And everything else that I got, of course, as well, as always. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And if you've got any other suggestions, and I can make it happen. Obviously, I don't have all the money in the world. But if I can make any other suggestions happen, um, anything that you want to see, then please do leave a comment down below, and I'll try my hardest for you guys. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing the next one. Bye! Mm.